Today I'm going to be showing you how to fix the uh, audio synchronization issues uh, between OBS and your microphone. Um, I had forgotten that this was a thing until recently. My uh, motherboard died or crashed or whatever you want to call it. And when I got it fixed and I got my computer back, when I reinstalled OBS, I noticed on one of my videos that there's a delay. Um, you see or you hear something about maybe less than half a second before you see it but it's just enough to know that something is not quite right and it looks kind of weird uh, so I went back and I fixed it and I figured you know there's new streamers and gameplay makers uh, coming around all the time and if they don't know about these things they're gonna end up running into these same problems so I figured I'd make a video just to show you how to fix it uh, the good news is is that it's totally free you're only gonna need two softwares both of them free uh, one of them is OBS obviously I'm using OBS studio by the way and the second software that you'll need is blender which is primarily a 3d modeling program used in game design uh, but what a lot of people don't know even some blender users is that it has its own video editing portion as well like Adobe Premiere or Sony Vegas or iMovie and all that good stuff uh, so we're gonna be using that as well and that is also totally free it's free forever actually and you can find that at blender.org just download the latest version and so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna close down my webcam here and pull up OBS and the softwares and we'll get started okay so just give me one sec turn that off alright so right now here I'm, I'm in OBS and the only thing I have currently is uh, my face cam which is off and my desktop which is the display capture alright now there are two t there are two problems with the audio synchronization uh, either the audio comes in too early or the audio comes in too late okay if the audio comes in too early what we're gonna be doing is messing with the the mixer here if the audio comes in too late and you need to push the video back you would do that over here with your laptop cam and you would you would right click on that and hit filters and you would this would normally be blank okay so you would come over here and you would hit add and you would put vo video I'm sorry video delay async and then you could just name it whatever you wanted hit OK and then you would put the delay amount right down here and hit close that would fix it if the video came before the audio in my case the audio comes first so we're gonna be messing with the mixer now the numbers will be exactly the same regardless of which problem you're having uh, it's always exactly the same not like it's always one specific number but that same number will always either go in the video delay or the audio delay uh, so let me close this out real quick okay good that's still off so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to show you the very first test video that I did and this is what you want to do too before you do anything else when you first start OBS just start a recording and clap three times okay that's gonna give you your baseline test it's gonna show you exactly where the problem is sometimes the the amount that it's like skewed or, or off is so small that it's hard to tell and you'll be able to kind of see that in my baseline video because it's very close together so let me pull that up real quick I'm gonna drag OBS out of the way just for a sec and we will open this up okay so I am going to actually mute my mic real quick just so you don't hear the echo and then I will play it and then I'll turn my mic back on and we'll talk about it okay so let me do that Okay, so clearly it, it it looked weird. Like it didn't it didn't look like it was that off, but it looked really strange. Like there was just something not right. So I'm gonna show you how to fix it. Okay, and what you want to do is you want to go into Blender, which is that other free software that uh, that you downloaded. So open up Blender, and this is this is a really cool program. I love it. It's one of my favorite programs ever, but it is a little confusing to uh, to know how to use. Okay, so what you want to do is just click get rid of that up here next to where it says default you want to just click this little darker gray box and go down to where it says video editing okay and then what you want to do is you want to take that base video that you just recorded 
and just drag and drop it right in there okay and it'll pull up the two tracks the this one down here this darker blue one is the video and this lighter kind of bluish green one is the audio uh, here's like a little preview window normally what I'll do is I'll zoom in on this you can zoom in with the scroll wheel and then you can actually click the scroll wheel and, and drag it around so I'll zoom in on my face there my beautiful face uh, just so I can clearly see where everything needs to go kind of and all right now normally when you drag it in it automatically applies the correct FPS to blender uh, so if you go back to the default there's this little tab over here where it says frame rate and yeah if you go back you can rewind it and look but when you first open up the software it says 24 but whenever you drag in your video whether it's this, uh, 30 or 60 FPS it'll automatically change that for you so that's good so you can go back to the video editing all right and you don't need to worry about the video track at all really uh, the only thing you need to worry about is the audio so what you want to do is you want to right click blender is weird in that to select everything you need to right click left clicking uh, really doesn't do anything so you have to right click on it and then come over here this is kind of like the properties window and you want to just scroll down till you see where it says draw waveform all right and you click on that and it'll show you the actual waveform file of your audio so then you can you can zoom in on that a little bit uh, and what you want to do is you want to click a little bit before where your first clap is okay so we're on frame down here you can actually find the frame so if you click around you can see exactly what frame you're on now we're on 22 this one's 81 so click a little bit before the first clap so we're on frame 52 right here All right, and then what you want to do is you want to scrub through the video frame by frame to see exactly the point at which your hands connect okay so you do that with these two little arrows these are how you go frame by frame so we we'll click that now we're at 53 all right 54 5 6 so 57 it, it's a little bit after the clap but you know, I mean you can clearly see just from the video up here that my hands are nowhere even remotely close to each other so we'll go forward a little bit so 57 58 59 60 they're kind of almost there but there's still a little bit of space so we're gonna go one more 61 my hands are clearly touching right there and at that point they would have made a sound because that's how physics works uh, okay so from frame 57 to 61 is where our desynchronization occurs okay so that's four frames of time between when the audio comes through and when the video shows it and you can you can do that for the other ones too like you can go to this one and or or you know it, it doesn't really matter you can go to this one now that we know that the audio is the uh, ahead you can kind of just go directly to it but so all right so a little bit right after 120 or a little bit right before 121 so technically at 125 if we calculated that correctly my hands should be touching okay so yeah so they're not quite touching there and then 125 they're touching so it's a, it's four frames that we need to that we need to deal with all right so we know the FPS we know the number of frames where the desynchronization occurs that is pretty much all we need so now what you do is you go to Chrome or Internet Explorer uh, if you're still using that or Firefox whatever you're on and you type in frames to milliseconds okay and you click on this very first one by end memo all right, so you click on that and this will come up and here you type in whatever your FPS is so if you're if you're recording at 30 you type in 30 if you're recording at 60 you type in 60 if you're recording at something weird like 48 I don't even know if that's possible obviously you type in 48 so for me I'm gonna type in 30 and then you hit calculate and you get this number right down here 0 0.03 so what that means is that every millisecond 0 0.03 frames goes by so we need to get that up to four frames so how you do that is you pull up your calculator and you do four frames divided by that number the frames per millisecond so 0 0.03 so four divided by 0 0.03 and you get 133.3 a bunch of threes okay now everything before the decimal is the only thing you need to worry about I don't believe OBS lets you put decimal points as a value so 133 is the number that we need okay 
So then what you do is you go into OBS. And like I said before, uh, that number would be the same regardless of if it's the video or the audio. So if it's the video, you just uh, go into the setting like how I showed you before, where you add the filter and then you just type it in at the bottom. If it's the audio, you click on the settings cog for the mixer. And right here next to your microphone, it says sync offset and you type that number in right there. And that's all you need to do. You don't need to hit apply or anything, just type in the number and close out this panel. Okay, so now, theoretically, everything should be good to go. And this is the, the setting now with that 133 millisecond delay that I recorded this second video that I'm about to show you. And it's much better. And you'll be able to see that now it is actually working correctly. So let me, let me mute my mic again real quick so we don't get any of that echo and then I'll show you that one. All right, so you can clearly see that that one looked far better. It didn't look weird, it didn't seem like anything was off. And of course, obviously, everyone's systems are gonna be a little different. Yours, you might have totally different numbers. I've seen it go anywhere from 100 milliseconds to up to 500, 1,000 millisecond delays. Uh, so just play around with it, see you know where your numbers fall, and then even pad it a little bit until you're completely 100% satisfied with how everything looks and how everything sounds. Um, anyway, guys, I hope this this helped you. Uh, I know that there are always new streamers coming and going, and they always need to know this information. So if this did help you, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. Help other people to find it because it is important. And if you would like to check out the show. Crossover University, which is a podcast about video games, comics, and movies that I run with some friends of mine. You can find that at www.thecrossoveru.com. Uh, link in the description. Anyway, guys, y'all have a great rest of your weekend, and I will see you in the next one.